This week is Contractor Fraud Awareness Week. It's designed to help people avoid becoming a victim of fraud when having home repairs made. Here with more is State Fire Marshal Scott Pilgrim. What are some of the signs of contractor fraud? I think the first thing that comes to most people's mind is probably high pressure. Uh, when you're dealing with a contractor and they're trying to apply pressure, wanting money up front, <clears throat> or maybe even if you're trying to inquire from the contractor, you know, their credentials and, and things of that nature, and they're hesitant or reluctant to provide that. Uh, those are all clues, telltale signs. So uh, just look, look for those, but high pressure is probably the biggest thing. What are some things that homeowners should do before hiring a contractor? Uh, references. Um, verify, you know, you know do, do the reference, do your homework, and then verify. <clears throat> you know, when, you, when you're dealing with a contractor or contractors, as you're going through that verification process, you know, ask them for references uh, and then verify those. And if you have a contractor that is reluctant or refuses to provide that, then there's your, there's your clue and you move on to somebody else. But, uh, and also I would caution everybody to be cautious. Um, if you've had damage or whatever the situation that's led you there, is uh, don't feel like you've got to make the decision that day or that week. You know, do your homework, take your time, be cautious. Again, these people that you're hiring are working for you and you want them to do the job that you've hired them for. If somebody's trying to rush you up front to, to pay them or go ahead and, and, and sign this deal with them, that's a red flag. That's a big red flag. And just slow the process down. And then once you make your mind up what direction you're going with whomever you're going with, then I would recommend stay involved. Um, don't assume that just because that you've got an agreement in place um, that that contractor is going to do everything that they have promised. Uh, stay involved, uh, monitor what's going on, um, and just be very proactive in the whole process. You also recommend for people to get multiple estimates. Why is that important? Well, again, um, if you can't go with the first estimate, that first estimate could be the bad one. It could be the one who is going to try to, you know, take your money and all that. So get multiple estimates and, and find the, the contractor that's going to provide the service that you're seeking um, at, the, at the best rate that you can get. Um, and just, again, cautious, caution, take your time, do your homework. If someone feels like they have been scammed, what should they do? Uh, well, first of all, I would contact, um, you know, call, contact the, the authorities. One of the authorities could be the, the Department of Insurance. Um, contact your insurance agent. Um, if you think you have been uh, the victim of a fraud, you can contact my office, the State Fire Marshal's office, um, and we can direct you to some of our people who handle that and, and walk, you th walk through the process to see exactly what has occurred, if anything, and give you some guidance there. And while you're here, we know it's the big Memorial Day weekend. A lot of folks are getting ready to fire up that grill. What are those reminders before they do that so that they play it safe? Um, same thing we're talking about now with the contractor fraud is caution, be safe. Um, I told, you know, I, I did a segment before I walked in here. Um, use the grill, the appliance, whatever it is that you're using this weekend as it's designed to be used. Make sure that you're using, if you're using charcoal, you're using charcoal starter, not something else like gasoline. That happens. Mm -hmm. Make sure that if you use an LP, that your equipment is proper and you don't have any problems there. But biggest thing is good common sense and take your time. And when you have those kids around, watch for those yes, little hands. Yes, plenty of distance, plenty of distance quickly. from building structures, kids. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. We hope you have a good holiday weekend. You